So as you can see, I got three items in front of me. I got the Big Agnes single sleeping pad. I got the Nemo Philo camping pillow. And I got our Big Agnes Q-Core SLX insulated twin sleeping pad. So what do all these have in common? They all need to be inflated when you're out camping. But I got a perfect solution for you. Stick around, find out what it is. Welcome back to Wheel of Family. Thanks for stopping by. And today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about camping equipment, specifically the kind of equipment that needs to be inflated. And if you've seen our motorcycle camping setup video, then you've probably seen this. This is what we normally bring on camping trips to inflate everything. And it works well, it fills them up pretty quick, but the problem is you can see this is big, this is bulky, and this takes up a lot of space. And we're always looking to cut space wherever we can. And I've been on the search forever for something smaller, but that's just as powerful and also convenient. When I say convenient, it basically falls into these categories. It can't be powered by electric because you don't always have electricity. It can't use regular batteries because batteries die out and you don't always have a place to go and get them. And also when you're about to go to sleep, you don't want to start driving around now looking for batteries to inflate your mattress. So I much prefer rechargeable units. And this is a rechargeable unit. The problem is this uses an AC adapter. So I basically am pretty much limited to charging it when I'm home before the trip or having to take a campground that has electricity so I can charge it on the trip when the battery dies out. All things I'm trying to avoid. So recently I came across this device. This is a pump by a company called Flextail Gear. Now the first thing that caught my attention was the size. I mean, this thing is tiny. It literally fits in the palm of your hand. Get out of the box here, I'll show it to you. This is the whole size of it. This thing is tiny, it fits right in the palm of your hand. And it is rechargeable and it also comes with a bunch of different attachments. You have attachments for things like a little inflatable raft or boat. You have different size nozzles for different mattresses. And what's great about these is these are flexible, so you can also use them around the house when you go into the pool with the kids, the beach, whatever it is. It's not just for camping. Now, my favorite thing about this, and the reason I went with this one, is if you can see right here, this charges with a standard USB port. Now, what that means is that I can get little USB bank, which I always bring on camping trips. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I bring this along on every single camping trip. This is a little USB bank and comes with the charging cable. Just simply plug it into your bank, plug it into there and you're good to go. Now you can charge this thing wherever you are on the road, in a hotel, at the beach, anywhere you are you're always gonna be able to charge it. And that's the beauty of this thing. The reason I started searching for this is, you wanna go outside, Zoe? Sorry, Zoe wanted to go outside. <clears throat> like I was saying, the reason I started searching for another pump is on our most recent camping trip. If you've seen it, then you probably already know, but if you haven't, basically this is the pump, like I mentioned, that we always use. And on our last camping trip, I went to charge this thing before the trip left it overnight for some reason it didn't charge um, i don't know if the battery had just given out on it we have had it for a couple of years but i was pretty much stuck at the last minute so we had to inflate the mattresses by mouth i don't like doing that because inflating them by mouth basically you're releasing moisture into these things and with time that moisture starts to build up mildew and then you have mildew inside your mattresses your pillows not something you want so I went on the look for another pump. And while I was doing the search, I came across this little guy. And I said, you know what? I've seen this before. I actually had it on my watch list. I was always skeptical. You know, these things seem really small. I didn't know how powerful they would be, how quick they would be able to inflate these things. Because that's another thing that's important is how fast you can inflate your mattress. So I ordered it and I tried it out and it works really, really well. Another nice thing that I like is one of these attachments. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's this one here. This actually works with those space air bags. So not only does it inflate, it also deflates on the opposite side. So you basically 
slap this piece on here and then you can put them on those vacuum bags suck out all the air and it basically compresses them so that's something neat and that's something that i've been wanting to try with the bike um, whenever we go on longer trips so i can store more take up less space and this is something that might be useful for us so i pulled the trigger and i'm really glad i did this thing works great so the reason I have the mattress, the pillow, the twin pillow is I want to basically test out and demonstrate to you how fast these things fill up and also so you get an idea of how loud it is. It's not as loud as you would think and that's another annoyance with a lot of the pumps. They're super loud and if you're coming into camp late at night, which we're known to do almost on every camping trip we take, we're always arriving after dark, you feel bad about waking up people next to you and making a lot of noise. So this wasn't very loud. I don't think he was actually any louder than the last pump we had. So I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go outside, let's check these out. We're gonna time them and see how long it takes to inflate each one of these. All right guys, I'm hoping this was a good idea because it is rather windy out here. So I put on the little uh, dead cat over here. Hopefully that'll help with the sound. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's do this test. I got the pump right here. Literally fits in your pocket, I love it. And I also got the attachments. Got those right here. Let's get into it. Uh, let's do the pillows first. Now I got my phone. I'm going to be using that as a timer so we can see how long it takes to inflate each unit and see if this is worth the money or not. Let's go. All right. So I say let's start with this one. This is the Nemo Philo Pillow. Nemo Philo Pillow. It's fun to say. This one should be fairly quick. All right, so we're gonna go with this tip here. I don't know if you can see that. I got the timer right there. We're gonna start it right now and go. I'm done. So that took barely eight seconds. All right, now let's move to some of the bigger stuff. This is our single person uh, mattress or sleeping pad which we haven't used this in forever now just a little tip for you guys whenever you're inflating anything it helps to open it up make it go makes it go a little bit faster all right i'm gonna reset the clock here got a little cloudy so that's gonna make the image a little bit darker all right so the big agnes this one fits perfectly right over the the nozzle here so that's great all right let's get the timer up and go Now this one's taking a little bit longer, which is kind of leading me to believing that perhaps it has a leak. <laughs> so it turns out I didn't have the plug twisted right. Um, that's a shame. That was, I figured that out at about three minutes and 10 seconds. So the valve wasn't open all the way. Now that it is, you can see it's inflating much, much faster. But hey, it is what it is. That's my mistake. So that was at about 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's say 3 minutes. And we're at 3.40 right now. It's almost full. I'm going to inflate it as much as I can. That's what I usually do when we're camping. Alright. And stop. Yeah, so once I open that valve up, <laughs> it started feeling right away. So that was at 310. We are at 401. Technically it was 4. It took me a second to press it. So 50 seconds, let's call it a minute which is not bad. Let's get that out of the way. And now we're gonna do the big boy. The big Agnes twin. Let's spread that open. All right. So we're all set here. Let's get the timer going. And go.
Make sure I didn't disconnect it. Oh, it's still there. Well, now I did. Well, I had a couple of seconds for stupidity, but we are at one minute and two seconds for the twin mattress. So that's pretty good. A minute and two seconds, and I did disconnect it there for a few seconds. So figure a minute. I love this mattress. Ah, super comfy. And it's insulated, so it's good for cold weather. We've used it in hot weather too, and it's been fine. So definitely recommend it. All right, so that's that. Let's get back inside, and I'll tell you more about this little pump. All right, so as you saw, this thing works pretty well. It inflated the mattresses, it inflated the pillows, no problem at all, and pretty quick. And now let me give you a little bit of details on it. So the unit comes in at 5.29 ounces, or 150 grams, so really light. It's not something you're going to feel at all. Uh, the measurements are only 2 inches by 2.28 inches by 3.14 really tiny. Uh, I did mention it has a built-in battery. It's a 3600 milliamp battery so that'll give you 40 minutes of continuous run time and if you saw I was able to pump both air mattresses and the pillow within about three minutes so if you do the math that'll give you well over 11-12 uses and then you can just recharge it with a little power bank. Now at the 40 minutes run time this thing will put out 300 liters of air per minute or 0 0.32 psi. Now you know it has all the attachments, the attachments are good for air mattresses, sleeping pads, inflatable boats, mattresses and remember that it is also reversible so you can also use it to extract all the air when you're done camping so that'll save you some time now the unit comes in at $26.99 not expensive by any means I mean size wise you saw the size this thing is tiny if it's right in the palm of my hand and compare this to the beast that we were carrying around before I mean there's just no comparison this thing is like half the size of a can of coke my opinion well worth the money um, I definitely recommend it. If you're interested in picking one up, I'll leave the link down in the description. You can check it out for yourself. Um, for 27 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's small, it's compact, it's powerful, it's light. It checks off all the boxes. So if you got something from this video, do us a favor, you know what to do already. Hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. And that about wraps it up. So with that said, I'm Mike, Mr. and Mrs. Two-Wheeler. As always, we'll see you on the road. Stay